Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to add login page to your Flutter application in the Dart Pro. So let's begin. Open the Android Studio. It may take a while. Then click on New Flutter Project. Click Next. And over here, you can name this anything. Probably Login Page Flutter Application. Okay, I think everything should be in a small, so let me rename it login page flutter application. And here's the things I will leave it as it is. And we'll create click on create. It may take a while to create the project and the environment in Android Studio. So just wait. Once the environment comes up, so first we'll run the test code. Okay, the default code, whatever we get uh, in the main dot dart so i'll just run it in a chrome browser so let me bring up the browser and see once the browser comes up the application will be running so this is the default application which it gives where you can like keep on adding or counting by pressing this button incrementing this thing and the increment will show up over here so what if uh, rather than just trying to get on this page you want a uh, first a page where you can Login uh, based on some kind of user ID and password. So how to do that? So even like I have done a hot reload and it goes to, it will reset to value to zero, but it will yeah, uh, just ask, come to this as a landing page. So let's see how we can make the login page as a landing page. So to do that, what we'll do first, we'll introduce a new class. We can name it probably anything login uh, page which extends a state. It will. It will be a state class and which extends probably login page and then yeah so we are seeing there are a few errors which we are getting so they are like missing implementation of this methods which is like basically build and all so we can uh, implement those definitely so if you come here yes create one missing application and also this is also giving errors so let's see what the error it gets so it's asked me to create a class so please do that i think i can just control put it before this and let me quickly complete this class so this will extends a stateful widget and then let me override the met a class other class so i'll pause and complete quickly or I don't think I need to implement this way. I can just quickly hold on this and implement this one. Yeah, perfect. This is what I wanted. But instead of this, what I can do is I can just use my login page state, which we have just now created. Perfect. Now let me complete the this particular class over here. So I'll pause and complete and then uh, explain one by one everything. So I'll just first remove this part so i paused it and quickly created the login page state class over here so let me run you through one by one so here i've created a few class builders first and called the build widget the standard one which will build my page uh, the default page so here i'm getting uh, like body in terms of uh, first i'm getting the alignment and all in the center and then i'm getting two text uh, where I'll be asking username and password. If the username is wrong, you can prompt let the please enter username and similarly for password. This is done in the validator method. So in this this particular class, this complete class, I'll post on my description below so that you can access it directly. You don't have to write. And then uh, over here in the uh, click button, the login uh, button, I'm just uh, calling it asynchron asynchronously, and then over there. I'm just uh, checking whether it's val valid or not. And if yes, then I'm just printing a username and password for now in the uh, output screen. However, you can do all your, you can handle the logic over here, whatever APIs you have to call and all. Okay, so that's all. But before we run this, we will have to call this method over here, right? So over here, instead of calling this, what you can do it is, okay, let me do one thing. First and foremost, I will take it over here and over here, I'll call it once this particular 
method is done the elevator the login button and then it will call my this particular method it will go on as it is and over here i'll call something like this material app and i'll be calling the login page which is this particular uh, yeah class uh, default method the constructor uh, over here so let's see how it comes up so i'm just rerunning it in the from okay i could have done the hot uh, reload as well so wow perfect if you see there's a login page over here and i can enter user the password so let me do one thing first let me bring out the this one the run screen so that we can see what's the output we get and over here we can enter any username and password right now we are not checking it against any api or in a server call so it won't matter and password is uh, for example welcome to programmer well, I'm just randomly giving it something and let's see what it happens. So, wow, perfect. If you notice, so it's printed a username and password over here, whatever we entered there. So, that's because if I again scroll down, this is the on press button where it presses, it prints both username and password and it runs the usual app flow, which is the following screen. So, if you want to avoid this and uh, not run this, so I'll just comment on this line of code for now. Do a hot. Uh, restart again. I'll enter something like programmer world welcome again. So, welcome again, programmer world. But if you notice, nothing is happening because I'm not uh, switching to some other page over here, so it's just sticking to the login page itself. So, again, quickly, I'm just changing the code and coming back here. And this one, this time, of course, it will. programmer world this time again it will go to the usual code welcome to the programmer world demo and perfect so if it's going to the next page yeah so that's all i wanted to show you so you can use this class as it is i'll provide in my uh, description below and even in my uh, on my website so over here you'll get the widget which will create the login page the form as usual the form is creating and in the form you'll get username password you can even extend this form to enter enter probably captcha and all so forth and or probably some kind of other uh, validation technique and then uh, once the validation everything is done then you can in the uh, on press method over here you can do your all the operations so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you